How are you all? I want to believe you are all okay. Today's lesson, I'm Teacher Shaban. Today's lesson on mathematics. We'll talk about measurement and under measurement. There are so many other subtopics, but today uh, you'll have the pleasure, I'll have the pleasure to take you through in what we call interval of tenses. In these questions, I always ask, and most children, they normally miss. Not because they, they don't know how to do it, they forget to add or subtract small, small things here and there. So today, I want to take you through this. And when you are dealing with intervals or fences, these are the three key terms which we are going to use. One, it is the distance. What is the distance? Distance is the total length. And anytime we are talking about interval, strands or fences, and we are referring to distance, we, normally talk, we are normally talking about the perimeter of that particular figure. Two, the second term we need to learn about is what we call the interval. Interval is the length from one item to another. <coughs> Let's go to our normal uh, in our roads. Mostly in our public roads or any other roads, we normally find electric poles. So, from one pole to another pole, that distance from one pole to another is what is referred to as an interval. Then the number of poles, I'd say, just use the electricity, the poles which are aligned with the road. Formula of calculating interval, I put it in a very brief way. We normally have DPI, where D is the distance. And I said, anytime you are told to find the distance, we look for the perimeter, or depending on the figure given. Then we have the number of posts and then the interval. So how do you find the distance? Using this formula, distance is equal to number of posts multiplied by the interval. And how do you find number of posts? Number of posts will be distance all over interval. This is just a short form. I have brought, I have clarified here further. Sometimes you will be told to find distance, calculate the distance, whereby you have been given the number of poles or the number of items, and you have also been given interval. Candidates, we need to be very keen to know or identify if whatever we've been given is, a, is open or closed. It can be a rectangular form, a rectangular farm, and this farmer has decided to place a gate in that farm. That one is not a closed figure, it is an open one. So, how do you find the distance when you are dealing with an open distance? For example, let's say a rectangular form, a rectangular form with, a, with a gate, or maybe just a road, because a road, a road can't be closed to anything. So, the dis distance for an open field will be the number of posts minus one times the interval, if it's an open field. And I'll give you another example. It could be a triangle, a rectangular form, a, a triangular form or any form, but you're told a gate has been put in place. So you take the number of posts, you subtract one, you multiply by the interval. How do you find if it's a closed farm? A rectangular farm, no gate, no nothing. Just take the number of posts, multiply by their interval. Secondly, we need to find how do we calculate interval. Interval, as I've, given, I've told you earlier, is the distance from one thing to another. So this, also when you are calculating interval, we need to be very keen. If we are asked to find the interval of a closed item or a closed figure or an open one. A closed one, you will take the distance all over the number of items or the number of posts. But if it's an open one, we take the total distance or the perimeter of the figure all over the number of items, but we need to remember to subtract one. The number of posts or the number of items. How do you find it? The number of posts or number of items, most of the KCP question wrote, they are always talking about a road. So if you are told to find the number of posts or number of trees planted on a road, we are supposed to take total length of the road divided by the interval. So if it is trees were planted on one side of the road, we are going to add plus one. But if trees were planted on both sides of the road, we add plus two. That one is very important. Here is an example. A rectangular plot uh, below was fenced using posts at an interval of 5 meters. How many posts were used? As we can see, we have not told if it's a gate or anything, so we are going to work with an assumption this is a closed figure and it's a rectangular. So, rectangle 
it has its length which is 70 and its width which is 50. How do you find the solution? Remember, we are looking for how many posts. So we are looking for the number of items. So number of items, because this one is a closed figure, we just say total length all over interval. What are we supposed to do? Step number one, find the perimeter of the rectangle. We know very well, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into bracket length plus width. So our perimeter will be 2 into bracket, the length which is 70 plus the width which is 50. 50 plus 70 will give us 120, when you multiply by 2 it will give us 240. So the distance around this rectangular form it is 240. We are told these trees were placed at an interval of 55 meters apart. So how do you find the number of trees? We take the number of total length which is 240, we divide it by 5 to get the number of posts. So you take 240 all over 5, which will give us a total of 48 posts or 48 trees in that farm. Put together, I want to believe so. Then there is another example here. We are told 202 trees were planted on both sides of a path at an interval of 8 meters. Find the land of the path. As a candidate, you need to identify what have you been given in the question. One thing that I've been given is the total number of trees, which are 202. Then we are told the interval is 8 meters. Because we are talking about a path, a path is an open thing, so an open figure. So we are not going to we are not going we, we are not going to use the formula for closed uh, distance. We are not going to find the distance of a closed item, but, but we are going to look for an open one. So, the distance, it will, remember, a road is an open, so we say it will be the number of posts minus 2 times the interval. Why are we subtracting 2? Because the trees were planted on both sides of the path. Why is that they were planted on only one side of the path? We would have said number of posts minus 1 times the interval. But in this, our question, the number of, the number of trees were planted on both sides of the road, on the path. So we take the number of posts minus 2 times the interval. So, how do you find distance? Total number of trees minus 2 times the interval, which is 8. So the first time you work out what's in the bracket, we say distance would be number of trees, which would be now 200, 202 minus 202 minus 2 will remain with 200. Then, interval is 8. So, total distance will be 200 times 8, which will give us 1,600 meters. Now, 1,600 meters is the total length of the total length of the path on both sides. Remember, we only find the length of the we need now to find we only need to find the length of the path. Now, when we are using these 202 trees, we are from both ends. So, for us to find just the length of the path, we normally take the total length, which is 1,600 meters, we, sub we divide it by 2. We find the path is 800 meters. So, I want to believe with this. Most of us, our candidates, please, let's do a lot of practice on the interval because we normally miss. Most of our candidates don't know when are they supposed to add, when are they to uh, when are they supposed to subtract. With all this, I want to wish you a happy time. Take care, sanitize, wash your hands, and please keep the social distance. Thank you.